from the Cultural Arts Council of Douglasville, Georgia. It's about blooming time. Hi everyone, I'm Heidi Hahn, I'm one of the four artists who are in the It's Bloomin' Time show at uh, Douglasville Art Center. And I know that we are all disappointed that we can't show our work together in person, that we can't be there to, to meet and exchange. Uh, but uh, thanks to the internet, we're at least able to communicate this way, which, which I think is something to be grateful for. So welcome to my home. Actually, we're in my kitchen, but I do have a few of my paintings behind me. I was uh, real happy to be invited to show. In, in this particular show, it's blooming time because I paint a lot of blooms. It's one of my favorite subjects. And to tell you a little bit about myself and my sort of my path as an artist, I want to go way back to my childhood. I have here this little vase. It's a little not uh, rare or uh, valuable or anything, but it is precious to me. It's been um, part of my life, you could say, since I was a little kid. And uh, once uh, I got, was maybe five, six years old, I got a pack of crayons and some scrap paper and I started drawing. And this was what I drew. Fast forward many years and this is a print my daughter has the original but this is a print of that same little blue uh globe vase with uh, gardenias in it so i guess in a way you could say i have been painting the same subject my entire life so as i said I, from the time i was little i was i i love to draw i love to to do art making of any kind i would reluctantly eat had to eat a hard-boiled egg or uh, every year so that um, my mother would let me dye Easter eggs. And <laughs> I still like to dye Easter eggs. But uh, attended the University of New Hampshire. I knew from the get-go that I wanted to be an art major. And when I got there, I said, "Well, I'm a watercolorist, and I want to. So that's that's what I do." Um, I was real comfortable with watercolor. I liked it a lot. I, my dad had painted in watercolors. A lot of what you see behind me are watercolors. I believe everything that I've put here behind me are, is in the, uh, the virtual, the virtual It's Bloomin' Time exhibit. This is of course a hydrangea and I know that in Douglasville the Penny McHenry Hydrangea Festival is a big thing and I've attended in the past and I love it. I think it is awesome. So I graduated with a Bachelor of Fine Arts from UNH. For the, past, for the next few years, I made a little bit more of my living every year off my art. I, 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 was, I took part-time jobs. I worked as a seamstress for, and a, did a little bit of design for a weaver. I worked doing uh, ad layouts for um, a, a friend who published uh, technical manuals. So I was making ends meet, doing a little better with my art every year. Then I got married and moved to Georgia. And um, Georgia is home now, has been for many years, and I love it. Um, but at, And then I uh, had three, my three wonderful children. So uh, for a long, for uh, many years, my art kind of got put on the back burner. And I, I got to the point where I needed an income so I fortunately, we were living close enough for me to attend the University of Georgia to, and that's where I got my teaching certificate and a job in Cobb County Public Schools and elementary, teaching elementary art, which I did for a long time, well, like 23 years. And I love teaching art. I thought in and of itself, teaching art for me was a very creative experience. The challenge of devising lesson plans that students can be successful at and at the same time challenge them in a variety of media whether they're media that I personally uh, was excited about or not I thought it, it was a great it was a great uh, thing to be able to have a job and have an income at doing something that I really did love however I'm retired now and enjoying and feel very blessed to have the time to do more of my own work. A lot of what I do is, I'll, I'll, if you can see, uh, this is the corner of my kitchen and I have my little, I have my little 
vase and a, a bunch of other uh, vases and um, uh, colored glass that I love. It's, it always makes me happy to look at those, uh, just those colorful things with the light coming through them. And that's a lot of what, what I look for uh, when I do my paintings. So uh, thank you all. Uh, thank you for joining me and thank you for letting me show you a little bit of what I do.